What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Point Extra Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Beck, along with Isaac Warren Kenobi. And stuff is dropping. Yep. Stuff is dropping. It's time for another Joker trailer. And we're going to do a trailer reaction. And um, hmm, I'm interested in this one because, man, I took a lot of flack for the last one. Yeah. And I didn't even say anything negative. All I said was I wanted to know more about what it was, but. Apparently, uh, people didn't understand that. But hey, I am excited about this. I want to know what this movie's about. I want to know really what the motivation is for it. There's been a lot of talk about this movie, about that, like, the director said that people probably aren't going to like the movie. That's yeah. a weird thing for the director to say, uh, is, you know, because yeah. it's not really, it's not, he's not really trying to make a comic book movie. Mm -hmm. And there's even been, uh, I can't remember, uh, the guy who was just on uh, Conan O'Brien last week. He, he went on this whole spiel about how he hates comic book movies, like he doesn't like comic book movies. He actually insulted a bunch of people in the crowd, like in the audience, and said they were a bunch of man baby, uh, you know, comic book, you know, nerds or whatever. And I was, and Conan's like, you realize you're talking to like my fan base, right? Like, <laughs> like, like, so, but like he did this movie, you know, and so I don't know. And there's just all kinds of crazy stuff that we saw in the first trailer with, yeah. with young Bruce Wayne. And, uh, you know, like I just have tons of questions. But hopefully we get some answers right now with this trailer. If this is your first time at the Point Extra Lounge, know this. Point Extra Lounge is... A place for nerds. That's right. We, we actually embrace the nerd around yeah. here, right? We're, we're fine with being called man babies and nerds if it means that we get to talk about the stuff that we love, like TV shows, games, movies, and so much more, all right? So um, if you want to be a part of that, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notifications bell so that you know when we put out new videos because that's... All the time. That's right, all the time. And uh, we want you to be a part of this growing community. Also, we're on social media, so you can keep this conversation going there. And we can talk about stuff and you can share other things with us. And also, don't forget, you can get your Point Dexter Lounge merch now. Yep. And we got new designs, we got new t-shirts coming out. It, it's super exciting, I can't wait to tell you about it. But we got so many things coming out and going on right now. But we want you guys to be a part of this. We're so glad that you're a part of it and that you're here with us. And now, we're gonna watch the trailer. The second trailer for Joker. Here we go. Okay, okay, there, there's a lot to process there, a lot going on there. Um, so I'll just say this, visually, this looks yeah. amazing. 
this, I mean, from, just from a movie standpoint, whether it was a Joker movie or, you know, any kind of comic book related anything, yeah. this looks phenomenal. I want to, I want to put that right out there right now and say, this looks phenomenal. This looks great. I can't yeah. wait to see it. It's two months away. I'm excited for it. I, I want to know more about it. I, I want to know how it fits into the whole thing. I understand it's like an Elseworlds yeah. kind of new take on, on the Joker and, and all those things. I get all of that. Now, the other side of me yeah. says, we didn't get anything out of that. Did I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Did, did you feel um, like that we got any of like what, where it's going? I feel like we got more of like how he gets to becoming like the Joker. Like, yeah. his, like motivation, like to calm himself the Joker, like mm -hmm. look like that. It, I feel like we got more of like his motivation. Yeah. Like the, that we're going to see during the story. Yeah, that like people treat him bad and, and you know, he's he's beat on and kicked on and yeah. he kind of, you know, downtrodden and stuff like that. My, my concern is, is, you know, the Joker has always been a character that, like, he's just crazy for the sake of being crazy. Yeah. You know, like... Well, what you've seen, like, a tiny bit of in the different trailers is we've seen, like, a little bit, like, of his crazy side. Yeah. Almost, the, like, that scene, like, he was walking down the hall, he's just doing the Joker laugh just for no reason. Yeah. Like, I don't know that I want to feel bad for the Joker. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a maniacal, murderous, yeah. uh, you know, uh, person. And I, I don't know that, I mean, the, the Joker has always been somebody that, like, you you look at, and even pretty much in all the incarnations, is yep. somebody that was inherently bad, mm -hmm. right? So, something happened. And even, even Heath Ledger's Joker, you know, when he alludes to, you know, hey, oh, I got these scars and stuff. So you know something bad happened to him. But he was yeah. crazy enough and doing things so maniacal that you did not feel bad for him. Yeah. You wanted Batman to to beat him. You yeah. wanted, you know, like in those scenes where like Batman comes in an interrogation and Batman are in the Dark Knight and like he just starts pounding on him. Like yeah. there's part of you that goes, yeah, because the Joker's out there doing bad things. He's hurting people. He's, mm -hmm. you know, that's what he is. Um, with this... I'm kind of concerned that they're going to try to make us feel bad for the Joker that like, yeah. okay, these things happen. And I, and look, I also want to say, uh, I've, I've read the killing joke. Yeah. You know, I understand the killing joke. This is not the killing joke though. And I think that's what people are missing. I, so many posts that I've seen and with our last video, uh, that people were making, well, you got, you don't understand the killing joke. This is the killing joke. This is not the killing joke. First of all, first of all, the Joker was never called Arthur Fleck. No. I had so many people, Isaac, messaging me telling me that i didn't understand this and stuff because he was arthur fleck in the in the, the comic book the killing joke he was not he was never named in that in that so this arthur fleck and they've even said arthur fleck is a completely new made-up name which is mm -hmm. fine which is i'm absolutely fine with that uh but uh but this is um this is a completely different take this is something completely different and i think it's a risk yeah but I think story-wise, like, this looks really great. They're already talking about, like, this This is Oscar-worthy, you know, that, that like, as a, as a movie, yeah. and it's the, phenomenal. And the director's even said he tried to use as little CGI as he could. Yeah, so so with those parts, I'm, I'm in, right? Like, I'm in. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm cool with seeing a serious take on, on the character. I understand the character. I understand the killing joke. And I, under, I also understand that there are parts of the killing joke that yes are borrowed like you know the yeah. comedian aspect and and uh you know the the being downtrodden and 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 all those things uh but in the end like my my question is is even if it's an else worlds kind of thing how does this joker fit in to whatever that world is yeah. like as as far as far as the batman story or the bruce wayne story or or all those things how does he fit in and i think that's for me with both trailers, the, the teaser trailer and now this full trailer that yeah. have come out, um, I said it was a second trailer. It's actually the, the first real trailer. The, the first one was a teaser. I haven't really seen that part. Yeah. You know, I've seen this great story that, that I think doesn't even have to be a Joker story. You know, it could be anything. It could just be a regular movie. It doesn't have to be the Joker. Uh, but that's, where I guess, where I'm, I'm still, I still feel like I'm hungry. Yeah. Right, I'm I'm still hungry to, to to know how this Joker is actually the Joker, and there's been a lot of speculation that this Joker is actually not the Joker. Yeah, that he's like a proto Joker, kind of like they did on Gotham, where they they kept teasing that like this guy kind of inspires the Joker, you know, later on. Uh, but he he obviously comes out right there and says, "Call me Joker." Yeah, 
I mean, so he I... He said, when you, when you introduced me on stage, uh, call me the Joker, right? Introduce me as the Joker. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. uh, so I think it'd be kind of weird if you had a guy who dressed up like a clown, called himself Joker... Uh, obviously he's going to get involved in a bunch of stuff and it looks like, it looks like he inspires like a whole like kind of mob yeah, could, kind could of thing. Yeah, we say like on the train and like people driving by in cars all wearing those like plastic clown masks. Mm -hmm. And then he's even part of the part, it looks like he's, he's in the, he's in the, the, uh, the crowd mm -hmm. and, but people don't know that it's him because yep. he's, because he doesn't have the paint on and you can see that like, he's kind of looking around, kind of seeing like what he's inspired. So it's kind of making him feel good. It's kind of like feeding that yeah. for him. Um, but, uh, like I said, it, it looks great. I love the transition where at first, like he goes from like, you know, he, he's unsure of himself, you know, he's obviously got some mental issues and everything. And then once he puts on that Joker persona, everything changes. Yeah. Right. He's dancing down the stairs and he's, you know, doing all that stuff. And I, th I think all those are visually just absolutely stunning. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just curious, like I said, how this fits into the bigger, picture yeah uh, even even for an elseworlds you know like it is it, are they still gonna say that that the that batman one day exists in this world and that and that's i guess been my biggest concern because if bruce wayne is like 10 years old or whatever and joker's like in his 40s that's quite a discrepancy i mean so by the time 60s or yeah 70s. so so if bruce wayne becomes batman say in you know his 20s yeah you got a joker that's running around in his 60s uh, that that's kind of a hard sell. That's a, it's kind yeah. of a, a different, especially with the relationship between Batman and the Joker, yeah. you know, uh, and they complete each other, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you can't, you, it's, it's hard to have a Joker without the Batman at yeah. some point. Uh, uh, like as funny as that part was in the, the Lego Batman movie when Joker's like, but we complete each other. It's yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely true. Um, not to say that you can't have a movie that, that is focusing on the Joker. Cause I, yeah. I think you can, um, but just like thinking about later down the road. And uh, so here's a weird thing. The, uh, the director also said that he sees the possibility of if they cracked another story. At first they said, no, this was one and done. This was all they yep. were doing. But he actually came out and said that he could see the possibility like he would come back and do another one with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I saw that earlier this week. So now I'm really confused. Mm -hmm. Because we've all, we've heard everything about this movie has been it's one and done. Joaquin Phoenix, you know, he turned down being Doctor Strange mm -hmm. because he did not want to be a part of a franchise. Yep. He didn't want to have to, you know, like because we know that obviously Doctor Strange is part of the MCU. He's going to be a mm -hmm. big part going forward. So Joaquin did not want to do that, and it would be interesting to see what kind of Doctor Strange that Joaquin Phoenix would have made. Yeah. Uh, but so he didn't want to do that, and you know, so like to to hear the that there's the possibility that if they came up with the right story that this could actually continue yeah. tells me that there's something more here, right? So obviously he doesn't die at yeah. the end. It's not like they go in a totally different Elseworlds kind of view where like he just springs up, has a problem maybe with Thomas Wayne instead of Bruce Wayne mm -hmm. and, you know, and then die somehow or whatever. The other question is, do you think he's going to kill Thomas Wayne, Thomas and Martha uh, Wayne? I think so. Yeah. Well, whether it's the end or if they end up do having a second one maybe it'll be like towards the end or beginning of the second one mm -hmm. and maybe we start to see like maybe like the start of like batman yeah like in an elseworld style type thing. yeah like because one thing that bryce and i have been saying is we keep on talking about this movie is it's kind of like we think bryce it, is bryce is his good yeah. friend the one that everybody thought was the joker online and yeah. uh or the joker's son or whatever he's going to be on the channel at some point so you know we're thinking in uh it may be like some kind of elseworlds thing mm -hmm. or since they're trying to be like kind of secretive with this movie like besides what what the director is saying there's like there's no rumors going around there's no like leaks or anything for this yeah. movie we're thinking that this may like open up the possibility of this being like another earth without them like introducing the idea of other earths before uh saying it like in the other like the main story that they the have right now. kind of thing yeah yeah i think they're gonna open up that idea now so that way they don't have to do it later yeah. I mean, it's, it's very possible. Uh, and, and like I said, I, I'm, I am excited about this movie. Yeah. I, I am looking forward to it. And I hope it does well because it's DC. Yeah. And, and Lord knows we as DC fans, we, we need some positive things. Uh, and we need, you know, out there. And uh, we need uh, positive press. We need, we need people to be able to see DC movies in a positive way. And so I am not being negative on this movie at all. Yeah. It's just that I don't feel the excitement, I guess about this movie that 
that um, I have felt for other movies, just because simply like I don't have a real clear picture of of the the why. Yeah, and that's what I think they're gonna do for this movie. I think they're gonna like I was trying to put it together, and we think we know what's gonna happen, and then we're gonna get the story. It's gonna unfold and everything. And I think towards the end, that's gonna be like, oh, this is why it's happening. Yeah, yeah, and I and I that and that's why I'm cautiously optimistic about it mm -hmm. because I feel like okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll uh, we'll get some yeah. kind of answer at some point. And I was hoping that we'd get some kind of answer in the trailer, yeah. but we're not. So, uh, but but we do see a lot more in this trailer about like why he kind of goes down that path, right, mm -hmm. to become the Joker, but not really his. It, so we get his motivation for probably becoming the Joker, but not but not the overall picture of how the Joker fits in. Yeah. To, to everything so if that makes sense all right but what did you guys think are you guys super excited for this joker movie are you just kind of blah about this movie um we want to know so let us know down in the comment section or uh, hit us up on social media and let us know on twitter or facebook or instagram uh what you guys think and share your theories your yep. thoughts all right let's keep it let's keep it civil know that i am i am not against this movie uh, like I took it like it to that I took a beating just because I, I I made some comments before that were not meant to be negative but just ask questions and and I got told that I wasn't a DC fan guys I'm a huge DC fan I love DC and I want this to do well um, I just I just like to know kind of what I'm getting into you yeah. know and so uh, but let us know down in the comments section all right thanks for joining us today we really appreciate each and every one of you and uh, hey Let's uh let's strive to get to ten thousand, man. We're 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 almost to uh, seven thousand subscribers right now, and uh, man, we want to make a, a quick bid to get to ten, and uh, we're we're just growing here, and we're so thankful to everybody who supports the channel. You guys are awesome. All right, guys. Till next time. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, along with Isaac Juan Kenobi, saying, you know what? We'll get our answers. That's right. We'll find out how he got those scars, even though it's the wrong Joker. All right. Until next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, if you made it this far in the video, you are awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please smash that like button and of course subscribe and also hit that notifications bell so that you are aware when we put out new videos, which is like all the time. Thanks for being a part of the Poindexter Lounge and uh, we'll see you next time.